Hey everyone, Ryan here from Advanced Physical and Aquatic Therapy, doing a video series of common questions we get in physical therapy. One we get all the time because we have a pool is, you know, how can aquatic therapy benefit me? What's the difference between aquatic therapy and traditional physical therapy? Now I like to explain to people that aquatic therapy is just another medium that we can do physical therapy in. It's comfortable, it's a good place to start, it's a warm pool, so the warmth kind of helps heat up your joints and it makes it easier to move. Also, gravity is not affecting you as it is in overground therapy. So the buoyancy of the water actually is a little bit easier on your joints and it takes some of the pressure of gravity off of you while you're doing therapeutic exercise. Uh, also, water resists you in every way you move. So. No matter what we're doing in the pool, as long as we're moving against the viscosity or resistance of water, you're getting strengthening, and it, and it feels kind of good, so it's sneaky. Um, a lot of times people are pretty sore after their first pool appointment because we're having you do exercises specific to where you need, and they're smaller muscles. So just know that you're always getting resisted in the aquatic environment. And lastly, it's just a good starting point. So if you're in a lot of pain, it's hard to move over ground. It's a good place to kind of ease you into movement, start, and ultimately our goal as therapists is to always get you doing something over ground, getting you flexible and stronger over ground, because that's ultimately what's gonna get you better because that's the environment we all need to live in. So it doesn't differ a whole lot from traditional physical therapy, but it's just a nice environment, a different environment to get you better. I hope that helps guys and I will talk to you next time. Take care.